Well, the time is here. We've been through a lot together. Good evening. I'm Tom Brokaw with NBC Nightly News. There was I think a lot of things made Tom incredibly successful. He understood intuitively his values. It's about the viewer. There was that sense of earnestness and sincerity. His patriotism. Giving a voice to those who don't have one. His love of country. He basically is the American work ethic. And love of family. A mentor and a friend to so many of us. Now you add to those qualities. Good character, good personality. Great intelligence. You know, we all know what is. And intellect. And we think we know what ought to be. A wealth of experience. But Brokaw's reporting always told us what was. A perspective that you can only get. He's done something that's really difficult. When you've worked tirelessly. Tom has made his luck, not just received it. And all those things together. You get a curious person who's a great storyteller. Are what made Tom. The journalistic heart and leader of NBC News. You know, I grew up in a working class household. We were early devotees of Huntley and Brinkley. My home state of South Dakota. What separated him from everyone else was he never really left South Dakota. I love growing up here. Tom has always had a degree of humility. So to begin this journey of reflection. I wasn't talking to the Harvard Club. He's not one of those ivory tower guys. I wasn't talking to the Upper East Side of New York. This is my favorite place in Washington. <laughs> He tried to be an honest broker of information. I was talking to middle America. The news is so shocking and so unexpected, it is difficult to absorb it, even as we report it. Something he used to say around here that we can never be above the news. An obligation not to be just me speak, you listen. All the money in the world is sitting on a stool in the studio at NBC. But I hear you as well. But all the fun is out there. Frankly, it's more gratifying to get out of the studio. I just loved watching the world through your filter. Whenever there was a story somewhere in the world, I was going to jump on the plane and go cover it. If something was happening, Tom was there. They're coming across the wall right here. Berlin for the fall of the wall. It was his vision to go there, to do the reporting. He climbed up on that wall and did a newscast. South Africa, won't that just set back your car? For the lease of Mandela. Iraq won. From NATO to Moscow. Iraq two. Philippines for the elections. He's gone to the places that a lot of other people didn't want to go to. Here in Nicaragua, President... Walking through the jungles of Central America when El Salvador and Nicaragua were in play. Good evening from Beijing. China for Tiananmen Square. It was fighting within the Chinese military. I got on a bike with a camera and showed the country what it was like for the first time that it ever happened. Who gets into America? I did two documentaries on immigration. Now, these people are not only patients, but from healthcare to why can't we live together racially. Would it bother you if your daughter came home with a black boyfriend? Probably. To the gangs of Los Angeles. What we're seeing in Los Angeles goes well beyond fires and senseless deaths. To AIDS. AIDS is terrifying. I wanted to give our audience a longer look at something that was important. World War II and the greatest generation, it was like a, a eureka moment for me. And he gave so many heroes a voice again. Ozakowski of New York. Paying attention to this generation of people who saved the world. Abernathy of North Carolina. And it gave them a reason to be proud again. And they were all heroes. That was a gift he gave them. And was their voice. This country was built on the backs of those people who came out of the Depression. A gift he gave the country to write the greatest generation and then fought the greatest war in the history of mankind and came home. And a gift he gave me as an aspiring journalist, reminding us how it's done. How how does it look to you? Peaceful. And for that, I salute Tom. Attack on America. I'll never forget on 9-11. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history. When has. it seemed the world was really falling apart. As this scene played out in the nerve center of this country. The historical references he made. It is one of the darkest days in America. His ability to kind of capture the terrified mood of the nation. It is a massive and ugly legacy. This is why Tom Brokaw is Tom Brokaw. Don't get the impression that you aroused my anger. You covered Watergate so brilliantly. It's President Tom Brokaw of NBC News. Even though he would ask tough questions of the Nixon administration. Aren't your statements, to that matter, historically inaccurate or at least misleading? President Nixon would ask Tom whether he would consider becoming press secretary. Mr. Brokaw. It was extraordinary. My obligation, I felt every night, was to give this country a fair, accurate assessment of what was going on. This is the heart and soul of what Tom has created for NBC News, the NBC Nightly News of the 21st century. This is NBC Nightly News. Tom brought all of us together in this room 
one way or another for me over the last 25 years. It's got all the bells and whistles that technology can come up with these days. But what it's really got is the mind of Brokaw. And when we think of Tom here, we like to put folks in touch with this wall. This is the Brokaw I heard so many times say, it's easy to make a buck. It's a lot tougher to make a difference. I am simply the most conspicuous part of a large, thoroughly dedicated and professional staff that extends from just beyond these cameras across the country and around the world. I thought when he stepped down and retired as anchor, it was unusual. Tom left the nightly news at the top. It's not the questions that get us in trouble. It's the answers. Most people have pulled out of that anchor chair. He gracefully slid out of that anchor chair on his own. And just as important, no one person has all the answers. I think you can sum Tom's legacy up in one word, and that is excellence. No one has a keener eye or a bigger heart than Tom Brokaw. So I'm just proud to be able to be here to call you my friend. If there's a Mount Rushmore of journalism, he's one of the heads. I think Tom Brokaw will forever be the gold standard for journalism. His lasting legacy is storytelling. Whatever the story, I had only one objective, to get it right. You're a huge role model for me, and I know for countless others as well. Tonight, we're marking a pretty special milestone for a guy you just might have heard of. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations on this award. Tom, congratulations. For reminding people what journalism is all about. And a tip of the Stetson to you. And it is in that spirit that I say, thanks. That's Tom's legacy here. That's Tom's legacy in journalism. That's Nightly News for this Wednesday night. I'm Tom Brokaw, and I'll see you along the way.